Okay, I've been wanting to do a video for quite some time on a particular piece. And uh, the piece I've been wanting to show, the particular specimen, let's see if I can get this in the viewfinder, is this uh, Mastodon elephant, prehistoric elephant tooth that I found in 2011. I found it uh, while scuba diving in the Edisto River. The Edisto River is a little bit south of Charleston. It's, uh, it's famous for being the longest blackwater river in the United States and um, uh, it's had a lot of Indian tribes and a lot of history there. It's a friendly river. It's not very deep and it's a backwoods river. You don't find many people uh, much. You do find some um, some recreation people using it for recreation but not a lot. Uh, this particular item that I found in the river is um, a fossilized uh, elephant's tooth. Uh, the thought was that it was a gompotherium which uh, in uh, actually as uh, we researched it we found that it looked more like a, a mastodon tooth which are which surprisingly are not that common among collectors. I mean, there are some around, but I have looked at the fossil shows and I've looked online and you don't see that many of them. And uh, when you do see them, you don't generally see them in the whole piece like this. This is about four inches by seven inches. And uh, it's got a coating on it from the uh, millennium or, or however many years it's been laying out there in the river and, and I decided not to take the coating off because the coating is just just really difficult to take off and I think it might destroy the tooth. I don't want to take any chances on this thing since this is a, this is a nice pristine uh, uh, specimen of a, of a fossilized mastodon elephant tooth. I'm not sure about the period of time. I, uh, you can look it up, but uh, I just wanted to show it off. Okay, now another piece that I wanted to show off, and uh, I won't take but a minute on this. This is a fossilized scallop that I found offshore Charleston, South Carolina, scuba diving offshore Charleston, South Carolina in a limestone bed. Okay, uh, doing quickie here on this piece. This is called a murex. It's a snail shell from, you know, it's fossilized. It's, it's, it goes way back. I spotted it uh, next to, a, I was digging in the sand next to a shipwreck offshore Myrtle, uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I found this and I knew exactly what it was because uh, uh, if you hunt for fossils, over a period of time you start to recognize something that's fossilized. Now here's some other fossils. This, uh, this piece here came from the Aurora uh, open pit mine in North Carolina. It's a uh, scallop clamshell. It's uh, not uncommon among fossil, uh, fossil hunters. And then uh, let's see, there, here we have some more. This piece here is um, is a golden colored uh, mastodon, not mastodon, I got mastodon on the brain. This is a megalodon shark's tooth. This was found in the uh, Edisto River and uh, I polished it up a little bit, maybe just a little bit too much, but uh, it's an, it was a nice find. I found this in 2000 and 2011. I say when I say it was a nice find, it was a nice find for me personally. I don't, I don't know other people, you know, they've got different uh, different uh, perspectives. Now this is one of my favorite pieces here. This is a, um, uh, a copper color uh, Angostitan uh, shark's tooth which was found in the Cooper River. I wish I'd kept digging in that same spot because I found about three or four very similar to this right there in that, that same area. Uh, that's a nice tooth right there um, as far as uh, collectors go. It's a good size, it's good quality, and it's a rare color. That the, the rare color is what makes that one good. And uh, okay, I've got some others here. This one, uh, this one, I actually had to glue back together because it was broken in two. But I found both pieces. It's a, it's a, uh, 
megalodon shark's tooth and it was found this tooth right here was found in the Durham Creek Canal which is part of uh, part of the Cooper River it's in Goose Creek it was found in about 15 I found it under about 15 feet of water uh, let's see here's another tooth I found in about 15 feet of water in the Cooper River nice little tooth there a little bit stained, but it was a nice tooth. We've got some other various uh, shark's teeth here for uh, for the uh, person that likes to look at shark's teeth. We uh, I like uh, looking at them and showing them off and finding them. It's always a lot of fun. But anyways, just various shark's teeth found in the found in the rivers and underneath the overburden here in uh, Charleston, South Carolina.